first and foremost, I'm just so impressed that this report has happened. It, it just changes it changes the, the, the frustration levels that I think so many women and other minorities in science feel around the publication issue as well. The report is really important because we've known for a long time that there are problems for women in science, but there have been far fewer reports looking at how that impacts on their publishing, the citation of their papers, their chance of getting papers submitted and accepted, and we now have some really hard data that will allow us to understand that a lot better. If the situation was so overt that women were getting only half the number of papers published than men, then it would be easy. We could just stand up and yell and say, look, we're, not, we're only getting half the number of papers in, do something. But when it's a few percent, 10 percent here, 5 percent there, and it all adds up, of course, to a large cumulative effect, but then each individual step is a relatively small bias, it's really hard for anybody to stand up and say, put my finger there, do something about it, there's something going wrong here. So we really needed this report. I think the findings of the report did surprise me because I too have lived in this world of anecdote and I've tried to talk myself out of it. But to actually read the report and see the data and see that it's real and actually see that the numbers are really so small, you know, in the 20s and 30, 20% and 30% women corresponding authors, women lead authors, and, and we're two decades into the 21st century. I would have thought from when I began my career quite a while ago that by now things would have evened out and it's a bit of a shock to see that the extent to which they haven't. So one of the things that I was most pleased about the report was this very clear action plan. Um, I know it's obvious that one should have an action plan but it's so rare today to actually have something set in stone, we are going to do this. These are clear and measurable objectives. That's great. That's exactly what's needed. In a year's time, we can all come back to this room and say, did you achieve any of these? Because they are measurable. Scientists love data. And unless you've got hard data, you can't win hearts and minds of scientists that there really is a problem. People will simply argue that publishing isn't biased, that women don't face specific barriers. And it's only when you present data that scientists will really be persuaded that there's a need for action.